Welcome, and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill. For more information, go to basingstokesalvationarmy.sermon.net forward slash battle underscore drill underscore daily underscore devotionals. We turn again to our passage for this week. It's Daniel chapter 9, verses 1 to 19, and today from the New International Version. Daniel's Prayer In the first year of Darius, son of Xerxes, a Mede by descent, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last seventy years. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord my God and confessed, Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled, We have turned away from your commands and laws. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, in all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you. We and our kings, our princes and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants, the prophets. All Israel has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. Therefore the curses and sworn judgments written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured out on us, because we have sinned against you. You have fulfilled the words spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing on us great disaster. Under the whole heaven, nothing has ever been done like what has been done to Jerusalem. Just as it is written in the law of Moses, all this disaster has come on us. Yet we have not sought the favour of the Lord our God by turning from our sins and giving attention to your truth. The Lord did not hesitate to bring the disaster on us, for the Lord our God is righteousness in, in, righteous in everything he does, yet we have not obeyed him. Now, Lord our God, who brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand and who made for yourself a name that endures to this day, we have sinned, we have done wrong. Lord, in keeping with all your righteous acts, turn away your anger and your wrath from Jerusalem, your city, your holy hill. Our sins and the iniquities of our ancestors have made Jerusalem and your people an object of scorn to all those around us. Now, our God, hear the prayers and petitions of your servant. For your sake, Lord, look with favour on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear, our God, and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act. For your sake, my God, do not delay, because your city and your people bear your name. Amen. Daniel wanted to show God that he was taking his prayers seriously in bringing his crisis to him. So he did three things. He fasted, he wore rough clothes, and he sprinkled himself with ashes. These days we're unlikely to sprinkle ourselves with ashes when we find ourselves in a crisis. We're not likely to put rough clothes on either, although those of us climbing into Salvation Army uniform after 18 months might beg to differ. But many Christians today do fast when they are praying seriously about something. Fasting from food is an important spiritual discipline when it comes to prayer. Jesus once said that certain crises can only be overcome by fasting and prayer. 
Have a look at Mark chapter 9, verse 29 in the Passion Translation. Fasting tells God how serious we are about praying for help and guidance in our crisis. Have you ever fasted whilst you prayed to God about something? As you think about that question, you might also want to consider this one during the day-to-day. -day. Fasting doesn't just have to be about food. It can be other things that distract us from serious prayer. For example, social media. What other things might you need to fast from in order to seriously focus on prayer? And I'll see you tomorrow for the last of this week's Battle Drills. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you.